What is up guys? My name is Nick Scursell. Welcome back to another video. Toronto Maple Leafs, they, they lose. They lose a tough game to the Tampa Bay Lightning, 5-3. to three. Yeah, they... This game, this game was played very hard, but at the same time, they didn't play with the same energy as Tampa Bay. And in that, I believe Toronto didn't use their chances as wisely as the Tampa Bay Lightning did. The Lightning looked like a championship team out there compared to the Maple Leafs. The Leafs just looked a little bit lackluster, caught off guard, tired, just... Everything that wanted to be right was going wrong for the Toronto Maple Leafs and vice versa for the Tampa Bay Lightning, who on the other hand were the better team at the end of the day, but put up less shots at the end of the game. So let's quickly recap this one. First goal, it's a Maple Leaf with Morgan Riley on the path to John Tavares. Shot by John Tavares. Andrich Kasha gets the rebound, goes top corner on Vasilevsky. Seventh goal of the season. For Kasha on the power play, least with your 1-0 lead. But then, Pierre-Edward Belmar gets his second goal of the season. Great pass by Corey Perry. Absolutely gorgeous saucer feed by him. Belmar gets into the front of the net, scores the goal, and Tampa's got a 1-1 game. Increasing their lead, Alex Kalorn sends a puck over to Steven Stamkos, who smacks it out of thin air. Top shelf on Jack Campbell. Absolute gorgeous goal. Possibly one of my favorite goals of the season. And the Tampa Bay Lightning have a 2-1 lead. Period's not over, though, because there's about 14 seconds left. There's a power play. Austin Matthews wins the faceoff, gets into the front, sends it across to William Nylander. Bam! William Nylander with the clapper. Gets that for his 12th goal of the season. A power play tally for Nylander. And we exit the first frame. We're square at two. Second period. Brings around Taylor Radish off to Steven Stamkos. And who does he find? Andre H. Palat. Palat with his eighth of the season. And the Tampa Bay Lightning take a lead. But they don't take much time to capitalize on that chance. Five minutes later, Taylor Radish returns the favor from Andre H. Palat and Steven Stamkos. Exact same play pretty much. Radish in front of the net. Third goal of the season. Tampa takes the lead. Four to two. Third period. About ten minutes go by. And we're getting close to where the Leafs have to start scoring. Andre Kasha, John Tavares, Jake Muzzin to Kasha. His eighth of the season. Gorgeous goal by Kasha. And the Leafs, on the skin of their teeth, surviving this game. They have to do something. They have to put it in the net going into the corner. There's about a minute left. The Leafs have not called a timeout. They have decided they're going to go for this. In the corner, Alexander Kerfoot. Three guys on him. Leafs players come towards the corner to try and help him out. Oh! The puck falls out, goes past him, into Steven Stamkos. Stamkos sends it up to Andre H. Palat. Alex Killorn to Stamkos, feeds it to Palat, and the game is over. They score the empty netter. The Tampa Bay Lightning win this one. Five to three. The three stars in this one, Kasha with two goals and plus one, 18-10 on the night. Andre H. Palat, two goals, one assist, three plus minus, and a 21-22 of time on ice. And then Steven Stamkos, one goal, three assists, plus two, 19.59 of time on ice. The goalies, Jackie Boy Campbell gets the loss. He's 14-5-2 and two now. And in that game, he had 22 saves, 26 shots against, and 8.46 and played 58 minutes. And Vasilevsky had a very good night. Three goals against, 35 saves, three shots against, 38 shots against, my apologies, and a 9.21 save percentage. They played a really decent game. And Tampa Bay, they deserve to win that game. They were the better team through the end, all the way to the finish. And they just showed why they're a championship team. They just showed why they've won two Stanley Cups in the last two years. They've just been the better team. Without Nikita Kucherov, without Braden Point, without Chernak, doesn't matter. They were even without Anthony Sorelli yesterday, but that didn't seem to bother them either. This is a team that has built a dynasty because dynasties do what they can to win championships. They take advantage of the picks they're getting in that next couple years. They use those first, second, third round picks, draft them. And in the next coming years, when you have guys like Palat, when you had guys like Yanni Gord, who were coming up on term, 
you can get rid of them because you have guys who can replace them to play for little to no money. So really, really good job by Tampa yesterday. They beat us. We won't see them till April. It's going to be quite a while before we see the Tampa Bay Lightning and the Florida Panthers around that same time of year. So March, April, everyone mark your calendars because it is going to be a absolute crazy town of hockey. Looks like Toronto Maple Leafs will play Chicago Blackhawks and looking to make his first start against the Blackhawks coming back his return. Peter Mrazek, 420 is his goal it's against average. He's 1-1 on the season, 877. I hope this guy can come back with a bang. I just really hope he can do his best to contribute to the Leafs team. And then Kevin Lankinen is confirmed. Marc-Andre Fleury has been the better goalie this year, but Lankinen's confirmed two wins, four losses, two overtime losses. Uh, goals against average are 319 and an 890. So both these goalies have been in a rough drought. Obviously, Lankinen has played a lot more games than Mrazek. And Mrazek coming from his, let's say, Marley's tryout or whatever that was to get back on his feet. Didn't play too well, just like Frederick Anderson. It took him quite a while, but look at Freddie now with the Carolina Hurricanes. I hope this could be the same for Peter Mrazek. I really, really hope that it's going to go well, as it did for Peter Mrazek and Frederick Anderson. Maybe it could be the same thing, but, you know, Mrazek has been a little bit different. Anyways, thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe for more of these videos. And please make sure to turn on your post notifications to get notified when these videos do come out. One more thing, please make sure to share this video with your friends and family. It helps me out a lot, and I really do appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy, guys.